Hey there everyone and welcome to my channel. I am Lauren of Lauren Makes Plans and today I'm here to plan out the week of Monday, November 11th through Sunday, November 17th in my Erin Condren Hourly Life Planner. So this week I have this kit from Planner Kate, which is kit 650. This is the same kit that I used on the monthly spread, which I love. It's really cute. Um, and I think it's gonna be really cute for this week. So the sheets that I have are the basic labels, the EC hourly um, strip headers, the skinny washi strips, the EC hourly checklists and labels. I do have the clip art designs, which I actually honestly forgot about and I may add some of these back to the monthly spread depending on how much we use them on here. I do have the sampler and the full boxes. So let's get started with this kit. I cannot believe that we are already almost halfway through November, not quite halfway, but almost. Um, it just feels wild. That it's just like, it's all moving so, so quickly. Like, I feel like it's been long, a lot, like, there's been a lot happening and it's felt very long, but it's also felt like super fast. I feel like um, Hurricane Helene hit on September 27th and I've been moving in slow motion and fast forward all at the same time, if that makes any sense at all which it may not but that's the way I feel it's been quite a ride but I am really looking forward to the holidays coming up and Thanksgiving and we just have a lot of fun stuff Plan, and I'm really excited to get to go home and see some family like as many times as I've been in East Tennessee in the last you know good while there are still some family members that I have that live there that I have not seen since January so even though I've been there a lot I haven't um, it hasn't worked out for me to be able to see everyone every time I'm there because usually when we're there it's for specific reasons or for short periods of time and it doesn't always work with everyone's schedule. So I have some family members that I literally have not seen since New Year's of this year, which just feels crazy to me, but I'm excited about the holidays coming up and actually getting to see those people and spend time with them and not just have daily conversations with them on Snapchat because that's usually, that's usually what happens. This skinny washi strip is just like my favorite. I am obsessed with it. So that's what I put down at the bottom with the pumpkins. Now I'm gonna do the date headers. If I can find my tweezers, there they are. Okay, stick these down. And I have to decide what washi strip I want to use at the top. Whoops, that's not the right sticker. Okay. Let's see, I wanna look and see what my options are for the weekend banner. And then the washi strip. I think maybe we'll do like the plaid one. I think that'll go well across the top here.
Okay, so now for the washi strip. We do have this option, which is the washi strip that I said that I love, which I may use. But I also really like this one, and I've already got this one down here at the bottom. And it is on a full box as well. So, I might actually kind of mix it up a little bit and do this one. Just so there's not like so much of the same things. And I do really like this one as well. Okay, now let's do the weekend banner. And the sidebar. This box is so cute. Ooh. I'm throwing sticker sheets around. Let's see. If I can actually get this down straight. I think that's probably close enough. And let's go with the pumpkins. Now it's time for this sticker. Cute. I've got sticker sheets everywhere. I don't know where anything is. Okay, let's do some full boxes. I think I'm done with that for now. And first, let me clean up this mess that I have going on and let's do some full boxes. Okay, those are so cute. I love this kit, it's adorable. So let's do some actual plans and I'm gonna leave the clip art off to the side for now. Um, see kind of what we have going on, what we have space for. And then we may add some here and we may actually go back and add some into the monthly when we're done with that. So, videos first and I kind of like these darker brown ones so we'll put videos up on Tuesday and Friday hopefully and then on Monday there is no school On Monday because it is Veterans Day it's currently Friday that I'm filming on and I actually just got home from 
my kids at Veterans Day program at school. So that was fun. Which is here, which I did not have on this, but that's fine. So I think for the most part, the week is kind of business as usual. I'm not sure if the bank's going to be open on Veterans Day or not. I know a lot of banks aren't open on Veterans Day, and I would assume that ours isn't, but our bank is kind of weird, and they will be open on days that I think that they are going to be closed. Like, all the other banks are closed, but our bank is open for some reason. So, I'm going to plan to go to the bank, and I'll find out for sure on Monday if it's closed or not. And then... We will go grocery shopping. And Casey has his monthly um, administrative team meeting for our association on Monday night. So I have to remember that he will not be here Monday night. And then Tuesday, um, like usual, Judson will have speech therapy. And I will have Bible study. And also Monday, I think I have a chiropractor appointment now that I remember that. Now that I'm thinking about it. Let me put that like on this one. I don't remember what time it's at, but it's somewhere in there. So then Tuesday, I think it's just Bible study on Tuesday and speech. And then Wednesday is um, church and piano lessons. Kennedy's really excited because um, this past week after piano lessons, her teacher showed me a piano book for me to order her for her to start practicing with. Um, and she's really excited because she's going to start learning Christmas music for the first time. So she's very excited about that. And then Thursday through Saturday, I am not going. I don't believe. But Thursday through Saturday, let's put it down here. Um, there is a group from our association of churches that is supposed to be going to Western Carolina for uh, another disaster relief trip. They're supposed to be taking supplies and helping work on some cleanup and rebuilding processes. And Casey is kind of heading that up. So he will be going on that trip. I don't think I'm going, but he is. So that's that. And then Thursday, I will do filming. And I think Thursday night, the 14th, I think our WMU meeting has been moved to this week. Usually we do it the fourth Thursday of the month. But the fourth Thursday of November is Thanksgiving. So we're going to move it up a couple weeks, I believe. So I'm going to kind of plan for that on that day. I don't have any specific plans on Friday or Saturday as of right now. Um, I do know we will have business as usual on Sunday. For the morning. But then Sunday afternoon, we are having a 
lunch after church. Um, to talk about some different things. It, it may end up kind of being our Thanksgiving meal. I'm not sure, but we're having a lunch after church for some things we have going on there. So I think that's the main things. Um, from there, I need to do laundry and cleaning and all of those type of things. Um, and I have to figure out where I want to put those. So, I'm gonna say maybe house cleaning on Wednesday. And I'm going to say probably Friday on laundry. I think we'll probably be good. And as far as I know, I think that might be it. I think my mom might be coming to stay with me and the kids while Casey is gone for these three days. We may end up going out at some point I'm not sure but that's kind of tentatively what I'm gonna plan for those things so I think that's it in terms of like main plans so I'm gonna add in these stickers here and and no school laundry house cleaning those so now let's get the binder I had somebody ask me in the comments recently and it's not the first time I've been asked this and it probably won't be the last time but someone asked why um, I don't write on the stickers before I put them down on the page and like don't I think it would be easier instead of having to like go back and remember what all the stickers are for and all of those things. I forgot to edit stickers again. Let's see. But wouldn't it be easier for me to write it all down on the sticker before I put it down on the page and, um, instead of trying to like go back and remember what each sticker was for and fill it all back in later, why I don't do that. And I could do that. There are some people that do that and that is fine. That is their preference. Um, me personally, that is not my preferred way to do things. Um, mainly, I mean, there are several different reasons, but mainly, because I change my mind a lot. Um, I don't always keep stickers where they are or for what I say that they're going to be for. I change it around a lot and I change my mind a lot on that. And if I write it down beforehand and then change my mind, then I've like wasted a whole sticker that I don't want to waste that I want to use. Um, so it's just easier for me to do it that way and then also on top of that I feel like a lot of times I write something and then pull the sticker off and stick it down and it's not enough time for it to dry and then I like stick it down and it smudges and that kind of irritates me and I don't like that um I lost my tweezers again 
So, I mean, like, the biggest reason why I don't, why I don't do that is because just, like, I, I like the, the freedom to be able to move my stickers around as I want to, but I also use a lot of script stickers for things, so, like, there's no need for me to write on a sticker that I have a script sticker for, um, instead of, using the script sticker, but mainly I really do just like the ability to move things around as I please. And some things like I'm not completely sure what I'm going to put on it. Like I know what it's for, but I'm, I may not know what I'm going to put on it yet. Like the video stickers. I know these are for my videos, but I don't always know what the Friday video is going to be whenever I put it, put the sticker down so I can go back and add that in later if I want to. So that's just kind of like my thoughts on why I don't do that. And I know that doesn't make sense to some people and that's not some people's jam and that is totally fine. It does not have to be your jam um, because it's not your planner, it's mine. So, so that's just the way I prefer to do it. But it has been a while since I've explained that and I'm, I'm sure that that's not the last time I will explain that because as um, new people subscribe and different things like that, that that will always be a, a question that some people have and that is totally fine, but that's just kind of why I choose to write it all in after the fact instead of as I'm putting them down. And as I have been talking, I really hope I have not skipped over any icons that I need. after church. I actually may use these for Casey's meeting. And then my little ATM stickers that I can't get to come off cheat. There it goes. I think that might be everything I needed. No, I don't. I need groceries. That's what I need. But after that, I think that is everything I needed on this side. Um, so then... So then this is WMU and the disaster relief trip. And I don't have anything for the disaster relief. I don't really know that I have anything much for WMU unless I used like the little, just like the coffee doodle girl. Or I could use like the, the little cross, I guess, but. I think we might just leave it and that be that. So I think we're done with the stickers. So now I'm going to fill this all in with my pen. This is my 0 0.5 gel pen from Mr. Pen. You can find these on Amazon. They should be linked in my Amazon list in the description below.
Okay, I think that's it for now. I will have to go back in and fill this in some more whenever I know more of what I'm filming next week. But that's for a later time. So now let's add in some of these little clip art stickers. They're so cute. Um, and I don't ever know how I want to do this. I think this little pot is cute over here with the lunch. Oh, I love these little like cozy socks and the candle. Oh, so cute. And the, the stack of books. Like we just have to put the books in somewhere. Hmm. I may put more of these like on the the monthly spread, but I need to put some in here. They're really cute. I love the little candle and there's two of them. So put the little candle in here. And maybe like a, leafy situation. Maybe we'll like put the leaf here and then kind of put the candle like Kind of like that, maybe. Sure, looks fine to me. What else do I want to put on here? I'm trying to see what all there's like two of, so I can put some of them on here and some of them elsewhere. cute. I feel like that's cute without overdoing it on here. Let's see what else we can fit on the monthly spread though. Let's see. Why don't we put a pumpkin kind of like here-ish. I love the stack of sweaters. I want these socks. I like, I want those socks in real life. Like obsessed with the socks. Maybe we'll put the socks with the little owl mug. Like. <laughs> so cute. I like the pie. I like the candle. Hmm. Let's put the pie here, obviously, because Thanksgiving. Maybe we can put the pie with the little pumpkin here for Thanksgiving. That's cute. And let's put the candle. Where do we want to put the candle? I don't want to make it look too busy. Let's put the candle and the book stack together. Maybe. That's cute. And then if plans pop up on any of these days, we'll clearly just relocate the little clip art stickers. Hmm. 
trying really hard not to overdo it, but not so sure how it's working. That might be good. Let's go back to the weekly and see if there's anything else we want to do on here. I think that might be good. All right, so I'm satisfied with that. So I think that's it for this week. I really like how this turned out. I do, I love these little icons. I think they're, or not icons, the little clip arts. I think they're really cute, so. I hope you enjoyed this plan with me. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell so you know when I post new videos on YouTube. Thanks so much for watching.